Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I know I come on usually in the afternoon. I come on lunchtime. But I thought I would make cashew milk for you into the Deluxe Cooking Blender. Good morning, Valerie. Thank you very much for your gift. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Um, it has it has been. I took it and deposited it from my phone, so it's been taken care of. But thank you very much. Oh, you don't know how much that's really needed because I got one of my rentals that's empty right now. And with the thing being what it is, I don't know if it's going to get rented again. Uh, and I didn't even ask for it, but thank you so much. It's very much needed, I'll tell you. Welcome to everybody coming in. Abba Jean, everybody that's coming in, thank you so much for taking the time. Hi, Alexis. And I don't think I've ever made cashew milk in the uh, deluxe cooking blender before. I've made other milks. I've made almond milk, but I've never made the uh, uh, the cashew milk. <laughs> Captain Rehab. So I soaked my my cashews for quite a while. Um, I soaked them before I went to bed. So they've been soaking a long time. Well, thank you for the super hearts. They've been soaking for a very long time. So um, the Lox Cooking Blender did have a book that come with it, and I'm making the recipe in the book. Um, although they do have one on Pinterest as well. Um, and I'm going to strain it into this bowl. Now, <laughs> I couldn't find my my uh, nut bag that came with it, but I did find another another nut bag that I had sitting around. So I'm just going to use this, and I don't have to look for my nut bag. But but anyway, um, this is uh, and I I I just got done watching your replay, Alexis. Boy, that strawberry shortcake looks good. Wow, it looked delicious, and it's amazing what you could do with with stuff in the skillet and put it in the oven. You know, I love doing it that way. It saves. A lot of time saves a lot less dishes, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, I want to thank everybody for coming in this morning. I know I normally don't do a breakfast scope, but I thought I would do one. Oh, and by the way, Alexis, did you lose any weight? Because I didn't I didn't hear that part of it. If you mentioned I, 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 I failed to listen to, did you lose any weight this time on your way in? Because I keep hoping that you're getting, you're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. She's looking good already, so... Uh, Oh, you maintained? Well, that's good. I know you thought you were going to gain. But, you know, that's better than gaining. If you don't lose anything at all, it's better than gaining. Well, you didn't gain and you didn't lose. But that's good. That's good. It's, I mean, you'd rather lose. But if you maintain it, <laughs> you know that happens. I, I'm the same way. I start eating everything and I think, whoops. <laughs> that happens to us all. We start eating stuff that we shouldn't be eating. <laughs> and it, 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 that, that, you know... That does happen, you know. What can you, what can you do, you know? But I'm glad it's, it's coming off, and you're looking so good. You're you're shrinking down. The ever shrinking Alexis. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, I know it's probably tempting, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna say he'd probably eat the rest of it unless your unless your mom would help eat some too. <laughs> I mean, it's probably nice to have him home. He's helping you eat the food up now. <laughs> That's right. If Alexis can do it, you can all do it. I say the same thing, too. Uh, oh, oh ha yeah, she wouldn't eat near as much. Right, right. But that's why Alexis and I come in here, because we want to show that you can make um, food in your house. From, your house to, from my house to your house, and you can do it without buying stuff in the store. Um, oh, you have half a serving left. There you go. So then you can, you can, uh, eat that anytime, but it sure did look good. I thought, oh, that's awesome. And those cast iron skillets are so fantastic. I love mine. I really do. I really do. I'm going to get this going a little bit. I just wanted to, you know, chit chat a little bit, get people in here and, and, uh, um, ask everybody, what's your weather like today? Because we are having it on the chilly side. We're about 46 degrees, I think, something like that. Um, what's everybody's weather? I know I can't get this open. I think it's stuck. Um, thank you for, for coming in and welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm going to have to forego this and use something else. It's 29 in Oklahoma. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Woo! Uh, pouring down rain, thunder. Oh my! I know you did say that, Alexis, that it was pouring down rain. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah! I'm gonna go get my vanilla instead of my agave. I put vanilla in it. Let me go get that. I can't get this this open. I'm not gonna struggle with it. I think it's brand new. That's what it is. Okay. So 
I'll put a, I'll put this in here, maybe a little salt in it too, and then just leave the agave out. So, um, you can put anything in here. There's, there's, um, you got three optionals. You got, uh, let's see, which one am I doing? Okay, you got your, your agave, you got your salt, and you've got your, um, vanilla. But you can use any one of them. You can use all, one or all. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to put the, uh, cashews in here and this these are raw cashews these are very uh, raw you want to make sure you use raw cashews nothing to them no salt or anything in them so they're raw and i and so only a cup there's a cup here i just soaked a cup now i've got four cups of water and it actually takes five cups but i'm gonna have to put another cup in here Get another cup. And everybody knows this is the, uh, these are the uh, um, stackables. I love these measuring cups. They're stackables. These are so good. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put, uh, let's see, it's half a teaspoon or an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'll do. I'll go ahead and do that. Teaspoons out here. So. All right. Okay. Here's the salt. You don't put very much salt in it. Very, very little. That kind of helps the flavor of it, I guess. And then I'm going to put. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. Welcome. And thank you for coming in. You guys are awesome this morning. Support me in the morning like this. Well, I usually don't come in in the mornings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I usually don't come in in the mornings, but I thought I'd come in this morning and, and uh, do this. And hi, Melissa. Good to see you as well. And half a teaspoon of vanilla. Everybody knows I like the uh, those... Uh, Adjustable spoons. Yes, I am. I'm staying home. I'm staying home. Definitely is what I'm doing. I'm not getting out in it at all. I've got I've got my order from from uh, um, Walmart coming today. <laughs> oh, and my hi, Erlene. My pampered chef order keeps getting getting changed. Uh, um, Alexis. Now they say Friday. First they said Thursday, now they say Friday. I keep checking on it every day. Um, the first the first one that Alexis gave me, it ended up going to Silverdale, Washington. I thought, well, how in the world could my order end up going to Silverdale, Washington? Well, she gave me the wrong number. So once she turned around and gave me the next number. Mine comes slower than a seven-year itch, I'll tell you. It is crazy. I Washington State got the, gets theirs before I get mine. What's up with this? Mine comes Turtle Express. I swear it does. It was sent out the 17th, or uh, <laughs> I'm just now, uh, I was late, and I'm, get, I'm just now getting at this next, you know, it is what it is. So, well, with the COVID-19, I think that has a lot to do with it, too. So, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on, um, I'm go ahead and put this on alternative milk, so you can watch this. <clears throat> and there's the alternative milk. And I'm going to press the start button. I just let it do its work. And I'll make nice milk out of it. So if you haven't got this blender, um, get it from Alexis. Yeah, let that, let yeah, lots it go. Yeah, I love this blender. This is an awesome blender. It really is. It does a real good job. It really does. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming in, and, and I appreciate everybody being here this morning. Now, this will have to be strained. Oh, bless you, too. It's going to have to be strained. So I'm going to use this. Not bad. I didn't have another one. I can't find the one that came with this, so I have to use this one. But it'll work. Oh, 60% off. See, there you go. If anybody wants a deluxe cooking blender, that's 
for the whole spot for April, you can get it 60% off. And that's a steal, man. That is a good deal. It really is. Um, I can't remember if, if I got mine 50% off when I got mine, but I love it. It is an awesome blender. Um, and you've seen Alexis use hers many times when she's on her scopes. This is really great. You can do a lot with it. $70. Awesome. Awesome. Um, the next thing I want to get is the, the smoothie um, detachment. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. It's getting really hard. Especially when you have to sit home, you can't go out, you know. I told my son I wouldn't go to the store and I don't. So I order, I order the stuff and have it delivered. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate that. I wasn't going to come on this morning, but then I soaked my cashews. I thought, might as well come in here and do this cashew now. Because I know I've never made it in here. And uh, people would want to see it made. <coughs> it does a real good job. And, uh, just got to make sure you have enough water and everything in it. And you got to strain it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate Alexis, too, watching her every morning. You know, even though I watch the replay, I go in there and watch that, watch what she makes. You know, it starts my day, you know, it really does. She starts my day, and, and, um, and I know it's hard. It's hard for us people that can't get out. You know, we're in quarantine. We're in lockdown, you know. Good morning. Welcome. Good to see you. Glad to see you guys here this morning. Um, you guys are awesome this morning. <laughs> you know, I come in here because of you. It's because of you that I do this. I wouldn't be too coming in here for work for you people that you're always here for me. You're you're supporting me in every 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 way, shape, and form. You're welcome. And you support Alexis too. And that's what it's all about. Supporting each other. Because uh, she does it because of the people that, that support her. And I do it because you support me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And you guys are awesome, too. You know, I, when I do my lunch scopes. Yes, we do. We certainly do. Oh, thank you. I certainly will. I don't do them every day. But I thought I'd come in this morning and do this. So you guys can see some cashew milk. But yeah, right. That that's that's so true. I mean, we're in that we're in this terrible time now. Don't know when it's going to get any better. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I hope it does eventually. But my goodness, it's getting old. You know, it's getting really old. Um, now, have you made cashew milk in the blender yet, Alexis? I haven't seen you. Um, because I've been waiting for that. So if you made it, so if you have it, I'll be the first one to do it. <laughs> no. They say it's straight, and you may not have to, but we'll see how it's going to go. Because it's not like almonds. Oh, you haven't done that? Well, I guess I'll, I'll beat you to it then. <laughs> um, I've never tried top cashew milk, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. It'll be awesome. Because cashews are good anyway. Um, Awesome. You can make coconut milk, you can make an almond milk, which I've made in here, and you can make uh, your oat milk. And uh, so, let's go and take this lid off. Wow, it's nice and frothy. <clears throat> okay. Wow, you can see that, how frothy that is. Uh, oh, yes, you can. You can make almond flour. This is going to be fun. Now, I don't know if you have to strain um, strain the cashew milk. They say to strain it out. So we will certainly see if you have to strain it or not. I'm going to pour it through here. May not leave any pulp, but then again, you never know. I'm just going to use this anyway. This is a nut bag I had from another blender that I've since got rid of. And I thought, and I could, couldn't find the nut bag that came with this. Oh, yeah, I guess you do have to. And I couldn't find the nut bag that came with this, but I happened to see this. And basically what you do is just kind of squeeze this all out of here. Squeeze it and get it all out. 
And you're going to have pulp in the bottom of it. So I hope you can see okay. You just, it's like squeezing the udder of a cow. You just simply squeeze it out. Just keep squeezing. Just keep squeezing it. Anything that's left in the bottom, like your, your, um, oh, that come out through the top. I don't think this is going to have any, this is going to have, any, oh, it's getting all over my <laughs> counter. I don't think this is going to have anything in, in the bottom of it, any pulp. Well, I strained it anyway. Don't really think it's got any pulp. If it does, it's very, very little. As you can see it's all out of there now. Let's put this in here. There you go. Now, there's the, I'm going to have to try a little bit, but you're really supposed to, look how much this made. Look at this. Isn't that nice and frothy? Look at that. <laughs> no, no, um, Alexis, but I've seen, I've, I've seen it done. And so I know they have to, they have to, uh, squeeze the udders to get the milk out. So that is just like squeezing the udder of a cow to get the milk out. Because you have to get the, you have to get all the milk out of it. But look how frothy that is. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Wow. Hmm. Oh, awesome. Awesome, Carrie. That's great. Yeah, I did one, I think, was it Sunday. So we have to still on there. So go ahead and look at that. But I love doing stuff like this. This is simple to make. Today's the day I eat cereal. So it's going to be a little warm. But uh, I'm going to take a spoon to it. And I'm going to try. And I'm going to taste it. Because I've never, I've never had um, cashew milk. Let me find a spoon. Oh, did my dishes yesterday and... Yeah, you'd love to try that. Um, if you have a Vitamix, you could make it in the Vitamix too. I also I have a Vitamix, but I wanted to try it in the deluxe cooking blender because you can make almond milk in there, oat milk, rice milk, um, any kind of any kind of. Um, oh, you got to check out the replay. Yeah, you do. You do, Valerie. You, I, that's right. You did miss that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste this. Mmm, very good. This is very, very good. And there's no pulp in here. So I wouldn't have had to strain it at all. But you can see it's, oh, look at that. How nice and frothy it is. This is simple to make. So if you really have, like I said, if you don't have the deluxe cooking blender, you've got a high-speed blender like a Vitamix. Um, if you, uh, Yeah, if you've got, like, like I said, if you don't have this deluxe cooking blender, you've got a Vitamix, you can still make it in there because it'll still work. Because I've made almond milk in the Vitamix, you know, before. Um, you just put it on, I think, on the smoothie setting. Um, I ordered them, I ordered my groceries on Friday, and there was no available slots open until today. So I took what, I took the slot, since today was available, I decided to, to uh, take this, they'll come this morning. And I added on to it yesterday. I had until 1.45 this morning to add on to my order. So I found a few other things that I wanted to add on to it. So I put everything on my credit card and I just, and I'll deliver it this morning. They'll just sit it on my front porch. They'll let me know they're there. Sit on my front porch and I just bring them in and put them away. The bags they give you with it. Let me show you the bags that they use. They are awesome. This is the bag they deliver them in. These are nice bags. It is, uh, yeah, these are real, these are recyclable. What I'm going to do with these bags is I'm going to use it for my recyclable bottles because I'm getting some more bottled water again, which I love that stuff. And and it's a recyclable, you know, um, for bottle returns, which I've been throwing them away this whole time. And I should have kept them. I didn't know because you could take them back and get your money back. It's a deposit, you know. So I thought, well, I'll just do that and and save it for the. These are real. Yeah, those are not. You could do you could do these for anything because they're nice and heavy, you know. And I thought, well, what are they going to use for bags? When they started using these, I thought, oh, these are nice. They're hand washable, too. They were used 125 times, made in the USA. So that's awesome. They're made in the United States. So there you go. Um, you don't find too many good, good quality things made in the United States anymore. It's awesome. It really is. Um, but if you want to try to make, like, cashew milk, almond milk, rice milk, oat milk, or any of those. You could also use a Vitamix if you have it and set it set it on there and let it run for a little bit and it'll make your, because like I said, I've done that before, but I wanted to try it in the deluxe cooking blender because I know it goes faster and I've never made cashew milk in here. I've made almond milk in here. I've never made rice milk or soy milk in it though. Uh, 
uh, Walmart. I got uh, my groceries are coming. They're being delivered today. I've got the Walmart app on my phone, and I just go in there and I I uh, search for what I want. And some things they're out of stock. Of course, you leave those things alone, and then I just choose how many quantity of how much I want. It goes into my cart, and then when I'm ready to check out. I check out, you're welcome. I check out and then I, I pick a day that is available. They'll let you know what day is available. Normally they don't that quick, uh, you know, every few days. They're normally you can only about one day ahead, but from Friday till today there was nothing available. And I thought, well, I might as well take today. That's the first thing available. I'll jump on it because I know there's a lot of people probably doing the same thing. Now, that being said, I could go pick it up, but I feel more comfortable having it delivered. That way I don't have to get out. Why, why get out if I have to, So, or if I don't have to? So I'm not doing it, you know. I'd rather be safe than sorry because, huh, you know, you you got to protect yourself as well, you know, and and that's what I'm doing. So, but that's the best way to do it. If you guys can do it too, if you, if you can get groceries that way, go ahead and do it. You know, and stay home and stay safe. But anyway, this is an awesome way to make milk. It's cheaper than buying it in the store. Cashews are not real cheap, no, but if you buy them in bulk, Get a whole bunch of them, raw cashews, nothing to them, and then just soak them up because they have to be nice and soaked. As you can see, I didn't have to strain them at all. Um, almonds, yeah, you got to strain that. You get all, you get pulp out of that, and you, have, you can make almond flour with that. But I didn't have, didn't have to strain this, and I tried, I tried it anyway just to see, but it came out really, really good. Hi, Tony. Good to see you. Here is my cashew milk. Look how good it came out. It came out awesome. It really did. Um, when I get off of here, then I'm going to pour it into a container that I've got ready for it. Um, but it, it's just really simple to make. Um, and like I said, I made it in the deluxe cooking blender from Pampered Chef. When this is a, if anybody does not have this, this is a glass container. Quite heavy. So it's got an auxiliary handle on it. Um, oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, I'm staying home and staying safe and enjoying my watching periscopes. Oh, yes, it's better than buying it in the store, you know, because, you you know, they got soy milk and rice milk. And, but you can make all that in the deluxe cooking blender. I've made almond milk. I think that's the only one I've made in here. But I thought I'd make the, the cashew milk this time. I've never had cashew milk, but I like the taste of it. It's awesome. Um, buy it in the store. But then when you think about it, you look at it in the store, there have got other things in it that you may not want to uh, partake of. You put in your body, make it yourself. Then you can control what goes in it. You know, you can control, control the, like, well, you want to put agave in it, maple syrup, or vanilla, salt, or whatever. But they're going to put all other kinds of stuff in there that you may not want. So you have control over what you put in it, you know. So, and I put a little bit of vanilla in that. And this has got a good flavor. So, I thought I had to. I put used a straining bag, but, I, but it left no pulp at all. So, with cashews, there isn't any pulp. With almonds, there are. So, now I know. I didn't have to strain it. Um, I thought I would, but yeah, that, that is good because almonds, you have to strain them. Now I have, um, before taken almonds and I have, I have soaked them. And then after I dumped the water out and everything, I have taken the skin off the, and just, uh, put it in the blender with just a, a white part of the nut. You can do that as well. You still have to strain it though, but it's not as bad. Um, those skins are, uh, I think is, uh, it's got a lot of pulp in it. So, you know, but anyway, you can make your own almond milk. Almond milk is good too. I like the vanilla almond milk in my cereal. Um, and this, like I said, I put some, I put a little bit of salt in here and a little bit of vanilla in here and flavored it up a little bit. Welcome to those who are just coming in and thank you for coming in. Here is my cashew milk. Um, it looks, it looks really, really good. It's going to taste good too. Um, it's better than what you buy in the store. Switzerland, awesome. You know, that's what's so great about Periscope. You get people from all over the world in here. I mean, Saudi Arabia, and you get them England, Australia, Canada, you know, Japan, China, and all of those, you know. It's nice to have people from all over the world in here. It's awesome to have other cultures represented. That's so great, you know. But please, if you can... Buy some cashews. Make your own cashew milk. Believe me, once you make your cashew milk, you're never want to go back to buying it again. Of course, I never have bought it. And I thought, 
Well, I'm certainly going to try it and see what it tastes like and see if I like it enough that I'm going to keep making my own. Of course, you got to buy cashews, and I've got plenty of cashews on hand. So, and these were raw cashews. You can use the broken up pieces. It doesn't matter if they're whole or whatever, because you're going to blend them up in here anyway. Um, there's a store that I go to that I buy in bulk. They have a... I can't remember what the cashews are in bulk, the raw cashews, but I buy a bunch in bulk, and I just save them. And I can use it for different recipes, plus you can make your cashew milk with it, you know. Uh, there's a, a ricotta cheese that I want to make with, and it's got cat, um, no, because it got, no, it doesn't have cashews, it's got tofu in it. Tofu ricotta cheese I found in Pinterest, so I'm going to make that someday. also found a uh, chocolate banana bread that looks absolutely delicious that I was, I was going to make one of these days on Periscope. I just found that on Pinterest. It looks awesome. Oh, man. So, you know, got to have real ripe bananas and mine are trying to turn brown now or, you know, getting little spots on them. But anyway, do what you can to make your own food. You can do what Alexis and I do. Make the stuff and you'll be a lot better off for it. Making your own versus buying it in the store. She made that beautiful strawberry shortcake. Now, if you go to buy one in the store, I just going to have so much stuff in it. And she made hers really, I, I mean, oh, hers looked delicious. Of course, I would use vegan cream instead of what she used. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But it sure did look good. I thought, oh, and that a cast iron skillet did such a magnificent job. You know, that's why I like doing anything in the skillet. You can put it right from the skillet to the oven and it's just done. And it's dark. Yes, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of chemicals in the foods that you buy. Where if you make it yourself, you avoid those chemicals. You know, I just put, like I said, there's just a cup of cashews in here with five cups of water. I put a half a teaspoon of um, your of vanilla and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. That's all I put in here. And that's all it needs. Uh, and you put it in the refrigerator, of course, to get it cold. But, you, but the chemicals that are in there is crazy. And then a lot of stuff has carrageenan in it, which isn't good for you anyway. Um... Oh, did it really? Yeah, it has mine too. And I've been over three years, but people have asked me and I'm not really sure how long it's been, but it's been over three years. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, promoting it for anybody. I, I like it for myself, but I, people come in here that are not vegan and that's wonderful because I'm glad they support me. And I support Alexis too, and she's not vegan, but I go in there and support her whenever I can. So it's nice that people that even though they're not vegan, that they'll su still support me anyway. And that's that's awesome because we can all support each other. You know, that's what Periscope's all about. I mean, we all have to stick together on this um, because Alexis and I have been through a lot and she knows what I'm talking about. We, we both have problems with somebody that's bothering us. We've both been through a lot, but we're overcoming it, you know, and we're staying strong. We have to stay strong. You know, in these times of, of, of the time that's going on, we got to stay strong and we got to be here for each other. And if you guys weren't in here, I would, I couldn't do this because I'm not going to stand here and talk to myself. I like to be able to talk to people on the other end of the phone. And I see you guys down there. I see Keen, Keen Bandit down there and, and I see Valerie and I see Alexis. I just see three icons for now, but I know there's other people in here besides that their icons aren't showing up. But I see your icons in there. It lets me know you're listening you're here, and I'm thankful for that because it's it's awesome that we can support each other. And I will continue to support Alexis, even though she knows I won't be in on her, her uh, live scopes because it's the time of morning when I'm still sleeping. Yeah, I know you're here. I and uh, that you're still that she's that I'm still sleeping, but I do watch her replay, so I do like that. And her make that strawberry shortcake when I saw that title this morning, I thought, Yum! I love strawberries anyway. I need to get some of those. And she shows you how to clean them. Um, if you haven't watched her scopes on how to clean strawberries, you need to go in there and watch those because she, she shows you the proper way to do it um, vinegar and water and that, you know, um, clean them up really good. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and watch those. But I'm going to have to get. Get off of here in a bit because I got to eat my eat my breakfast. But I wanted to show you that you can make coke, you can make cashew milk yourself and not rely on the stores. So with that being said, I'm going to go for now, and I hope you all have a great and, and marvelous day. And until we meet again, take care. God bless and bye bye.